when you realize you're dealing with a narcissist and decide to ask for a breakup. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our channel. We're thrilled to have you join us once again. Today, we're going to tackle a subject that many find challenging yet crucial to address, what happens when you realize you're dealing with a narcissist and decide to ask for a breakup. Realizing that you're in a relationship with a narcissist can be a shocking and painful revelation. The journey from this realization to the decision to part ways is filled with a myriad of emotions and obstacles. It's a path that requires courage, self-awareness, and resilience. In today's episode, we'll explore the dynamics of ending a relationship with a narcissist, the challenges you might face, and how to navigate this difficult but ultimately liberating process. Stay with us as we dive deep into understanding, healing, and moving forward. When you realize you're dealing with a narcissist and decide to ask for a breakup, here are seven possible circumstances that might happen. Number 1. Denial and Manipulation this is a hallmark response from someone who has a narcissistic personality disorder. They may outright refuse to accept the reality of the breakup, dismissing your feelings, and the finality of your decision. This denial stems from their inflated sense of self and inability to accept fault or responsibility. The concept of someone wanting to leave them is so foreign and threatening to their ego that their immediate response is to deny the validity of your feelings and the breakup itself. Manipulation plays a significant role in how a narcissist responds to a breakup. They may employ a variety of tactics designed to make you question your decision. Guilt tripping is a common strategy, where the narcissist will attempt to make you feel responsible for their happiness and well-being, suggesting that your decision to leave is selfish or cruel. They may also make grandiose promises to change behaviors that you've found problematic, promises that are often empty and aimed solely at keeping you tethered to the relationship. These manipulative tactics can be very persuasive, making it difficult to stick to your decision. Furthermore, a narcissist might deny that there were ever any issues in the relationship to begin with, rewriting history to make it seem like you're overreacting or imagining problems. This form of gaslighting can be incredibly disorienting and can lead you to question your own perceptions and sanity. It's a psychological maneuver designed to make you doubt your own experiences thereby weakening your resolve to leave. Understanding these tactics and recognizing them for what they are is crucial. It's a difficult and emotionally taxing situation, but awareness and preparation can help you navigate this challenging phase of the breakup process. Number 2. Anger and Blame This reaction is deeply rooted in their inability to accept responsibility for their actions and the fragility of their ego. A narcissist's self-image is often inflated and incredibly vulnerable to criticism or perceived rejection. Thus, when faced with a breakup, which they interpret as a direct attack on their self-worth, their instinctive response is to deflect and project. They may launch a barrage of accusations, insisting that you are the root of all issues within the relationship. This tactic serves a dual purpose, it absolves them of any wrongdoing and attempts to instill doubt and guilt within you. The intensity of their anger can be alarming and is typically proportionate to how threatened they feel by the loss of control over you and the situation. The narcissist may employ verbal abuse, leveraging intimate knowledge about you to inflict emotional pain. This behavior is a manifestation of their need to dominate and assert control, even as the relationship dissolves. It's a desperate attempt to salvage their bruised ego by making you feel small and insignificant. This tactic can be particularly damaging, as it not only aims to hurt you, but also to undermine your confidence and resolve to leave. Understanding this potential backlash is crucial for anyone preparing to break free from a narcissist's grip. It's important to recognize that the anger and blame are not reflections of your actions or worth, but rather expressions of the narcissist's own insecurities and dysfunctional coping mechanisms. It serves as a reminder that you are not at fault for their behavior and that prioritizing your well-being is not only necessary but deserved. Number 3. Playing the victim. This maneuver is designed to twist the narrative, positioning themselves as the aggrieved party suffering at your hands. By doing so, they aim to elicit sympathy, not only from you, but also from those around you, effectively isolating you and undermining your support network. This tactic can be particularly effective because it preys on your compassion and may instill doubt about the validity of your grievances and the necessity of the breakup. 
The narcissist's portrayal as the victim serves a dual purpose, it absolves them of any wrongdoing while simultaneously casting you in a negative light. This manipulation can be challenging to counteract, as defending yourself may only seem to further their narrative of victimhood. The complexity of this tactic lies in its ability to invert the reality of the situation, making it seem as though the narcissist is the one who deserves empathy and understanding, not you. Understanding this potential reaction is crucial for anyone considering ending a relationship with a narcissist. It's important to stay grounded in your reality and not be swayed by the narcissist's distortion of the truth. Recognizing this behavior as a tactic rather than a genuine expression of hurt can empower you to move forward with your decision with confidence and clarity. Number 4. Stalking and Harassment this is especially true for those whose sense of control is deeply threatened by the end of the relationship. They may refuse to accept your decision to part ways and attempt to maintain a connection by any means necessary. This could manifest in a barrage of calls and messages, often oscillating between pleading for reconciliation and lashing out in anger. Additionally, they might show up uninvited at your home, workplace, or any other places you frequent, disregarding your boundaries and sense of safety. This behavior stems from a desperate need to regain control and a refusal to accept rejection. It's a violation of personal boundaries and can be deeply distressing. Such actions are not only inappropriate but can also escalate to dangerous levels. It's crucial to take any form of stalking or harassment seriously. Documenting incidents and seeking help from law enforcement or legal counsel can be necessary steps to ensure your safety and well-being. Dealing with a narcissist who resorts to stalking and harassment requires a firm stance and, often, external support. It's important to communicate clearly that their behavior is unacceptable and to cut off any form of communication. Number 5. Smear Campaign This involves spreading rumors, lies, or half-truths to mutual friends, family members, or across social media platforms. Their aim is to tarnish your reputation portray themselves as the aggrieved party, and solicit sympathy and support from those around you. This tactic not only seeks to isolate you socially, but also serves to undermine your credibility and mental strength during an already challenging time. The smear campaign is a calculated move by the narcissist to control the narrative and sway the perception of mutual acquaintances in their favor. By discrediting you, they attempt to divert attention from their own behavior and shortcomings. This strategy can be particularly damaging, as it not only affects personal relationships, but can also have repercussions in your professional life and wider social circles. It's a manifestation of the narcissist's inability to deal with rejection and loss of control in a healthy manner. Navigating a smear campaign requires resilience, support from true friends and family, and sometimes legal advice. It's important to maintain your integrity, avoid engaging in public disputes, and focus on your well-being. Documenting any slander statements or actions can be beneficial if legal steps become necessary. Remember, the goal is to protect your mental health and emerge from this experience stronger and more self-aware. Number 6. Sudden Compliance and Improvement This sudden shift can be baffling and might spark a glimmer of hope for the relationship's revival. However, it's crucial to approach this situation with caution. Often, these changes are not rooted in genuine self-reflection or a real desire to change, but are instead manipulative tactics designed to regain control and entice you back into the relationship. The narcissist may temporarily suppress their more harmful traits, presenting an improved version of themselves to appeal to your hopes for a healthier partnership. This period of compliance and apparent improvement can be particularly challenging to navigate, as it plays on your emotions and the history of your relationship. It might make you question your decision to leave and wonder if a genuine transformation is possible. However, history and patterns of behavior are critical to remember in these situations. More often than not, these changes are superficial and short-lived, reverting back once the narcissist feels secure in the relationship's renewal. It's a strategic move, aimed at disrupting your resolve and drawing you back into their sphere of influence. If you find yourself in this predicament, it's essential to stay grounded in the reasons that led you to end the relationship in the first place. Remember, true change takes time, effort, and often professional help. 
it's unlikely to occur swiftly or simply because a relationship is ending. Number 7. Cold Withdrawal This behavior is often a defense mechanism designed to protect their fragile ego. By appearing indifferent and quickly seeking new relationships or sources of attention, the narcissist aims to reinforce their self-esteem and distract from the pain of rejection. This abrupt shift to silence can be jarring and painful for the person on the receiving end, as it contrasts sharply with previous patterns of intense engagement or conflict. This cold withdrawal can leave the former partner feeling confused, questioning the reality of the relationship, and possibly doubting their decision. However, it's important to recognize this behavior for what it is, a tactic that allows the narcissist to maintain the upper hand emotionally and to avoid facing the consequences of their actions. It's a clear indicator of the narcissist's inability to engage in healthy emotional processing and communication. For those experiencing this form of withdrawal, it's crucial to focus on self-care and healing. The sudden silence may feel like a void initially, but it offers an opportunity to rebuild without the influence of the narcissist's manipulative behaviors. Seeking support from friends, family, or professionals can provide the necessary perspective and encouragement to move forward. Remember, the cold withdrawal is not a reflection of your worth, but rather a testament to the narcissist's inability to handle emotional intimacy and accountability. As we conclude, we hope this video sheds light on the complexities of ending a relationship with a narcissist and empowers those going through it to stay strong and make informed decisions. Your experiences and insights are valuable to us and our community. If you found this content helpful or have your own stories and advice to share, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Together, we can support one another through these challenging times.